Hi! Today, I'm excited to bring you your Corona Vacation episode number six. Today, we're going to be doing a craft together. And um, in light of what this craft is, I am wearing my Ireland sweatshirt that I got in that great country of Ireland. And I'm also wearing some lovely Irish, more like St. Patrick's Day, but we'll say Irish, um, Irish leggings, um, which are super great and wonderful and really cozy. Anyway, today we are going to have a fun adventure of making a bagpipe. Yes, my friends, a bagpipe. And we're going to make it out of some uh, everyday types of things that you have just laying around your home. Well, almost all the things are laying around your home. You'll find out. All right, the first item that you need is a trash bag scissors, some tape, a straw, and two recorders. Okay, so I saw this posted, well at least this idea of making a bagpipe out of these items online a couple weeks ago, and I thought this would be an awesome episode. However, I've never tried it before, so this is going to be a trial and error perhaps experience for all of us. Um, yeah, what you see is what you get. Hopefully it works. I guess we'll find out. You're supposed to take your trash bag, okay, just regular trash bag, and you're supposed to cut it down to about three-fourths of the actual length because you don't need the entire bag for it. So I'm going to cut a little bit off of it. Don't need any more. Just throw it in the trash because that's what trash is. All right, now that I've cut the bag, we're going to... Wow. There we go. Open it up. And you're going to take one end of it and you're going to put the straw in about two inches. Okay, so I'm putting it in about two inches and then I'm going to tape it up there. Okay, once you have it taped in, I would, so that it's secure, I would roll it a little bit so that you get rid of some of this excess trash bag. Um, we'll roll a little bit a little bit later as well. Just make sure that the straw still has a good opening into the trash bag because you're going to be blowing air into the trash bag later. And then use a bunch of tape to finish up securing the excess bag around the straw. Okay, now you're going to grab one of the recorders and you're going to take the end that you want and that is going to be the end that goes in the bag. This is going to act as the drone part of the bagpipe. Now a drone is basically where there's a low consistent humming sound that the bagpipe is going to play some notes over top of. Um, and you're going to put it about, I'd say, eight inches away from the straw that we just taped in. It's going to be about this far away. Um, and then it's also important to note not to cover up the whistle part of the recorder. So you're going to tape it, the bag, right along here right before you get to that part because the air needs to be able to come out of here. All right, voila. Okay, so now we have this and this both taped in. Now you'll notice there's going to be a hole right here and a hole right here. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and just tape up both of those on so that there's no air coming out of the bag whatsoever except for through these two things. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the same in the bag that the straw is on and you're going to cut just a little teeny hole. All right, now you're gonna take the second recorder and this is going to um, go into that hole that we just cut in the end of the bag and is going to act as the chanter. Now the chanter is the thing that we're going to use to actually make the notes come out and sound cool and pretty beautiful. So same thing as the other recorder, when you tape it in, make sure that you don't cover up the whistle, okay? All right, it is now completely airtight and taped into it. Oh, one more thing, uh, you will want to, on um, the drone part of the uh, bagpipe, you're going to want to take some tape and cover up the top two holes and the back hole so that um, the drone part isn't so loud and obnoxious. 
All right, I'm going to attempt to fill this bag with air now through the straw. Um, we'll see if there's any holes in it. If there's holes, then just fix them with some more. Okay. All right, like I said, trial and error. I blew up the bag. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So when you make yours, make, maybe make sure it's not this big. But we're gonna try and see if I can get some sounds out. So bear with me. tried and let's just say that it wasn't necessarily a fail but I wouldn't also categorize it as a success. Sorry I was hoping for a little bit more. Um, maybe you have more success than I did. If you do please uh, take a video and share it with me because I would like to know how to properly do this because this was, um, it was not great. Hey at least I can play some mom and quarter. Hey pipes? Mm -hmm. Quarter? specifically in some countries I visited this past summer. Take a look at these lovely clips of people who can do it better than I can. <laughs>